Jackson. Jackson, we've got a lot to unpack here, but I want to start where, where Diane left off. So the fact that a restraining order, dealing with children, fine, I would imagine that comes up a fair amount when we come to a divorce filing. But a restraining order asking his wife to not do any interviews, does that also, I mean, A, a does that pass muster just in terms of free speech? Uh, the answer is I do not think so, Erica. It's customary when you have proceedings for attorneys to be gagged. You know, judge has a lot of control over what we do, okay? Uh, contempt of court findings and that type of thing. When it gets to what people can say as parties, as witnesses, uh, they have a right to speak. And as a result of that, a judge can issue any order they want, Erica. At the end of the day, a judge can say whatever they want. They can put paper whatever they want. Whether that order is valid, legal, and proper is another matter. And I think the courts in dealing with that look to a person's First Amendment right to speak. Now, having said that, of course, we know, as was just reported, is that she has some problems that is the mother of her own. She has a case of her own. So whether she would want to speak or whether her attorney would direct that she not speak is another matter. Mm -hmm. But for the court to order it, in my view, is very problematic and I doubt would be upheld by the court. So as we mentioned, Ted Cummins was in court yesterday. He was ordered back to send Tennessee. The documents that were put out, so the motion essentially to show why he should be denied uh, bail, I, I was floored at the level of detail. What authorities say, Tad Cummins told them, that he uh, dis dis disabled the GPS, changed license plates twice, that he was monitoring the media, discarded cell phones. Have you ever seen this level of detail? Yes. <laughs> the federal <laughs> government, Erica, are very good at what they do. And remember, this was done initially with a lot of coordination. What was done, that is, looking for him, attempting to secure her safe release and return to the family. And so they had been monitoring, looking at surveillance and everything else. And of course, he made a number of damaging admissions himself. And so what the prosecutors wanted to do was ensure that he not be released. And in doing that, they put together this motion for the judge, talking about the nature of the offense itself, how they have a strong case against him, what the dynamic of the evidence is, what his admissions were, and all of that taken together said, Judge, don't release this guy. He was plotting and planning, and if you release him, he may not return. How does defense then, my criminal defense attorney here, how does the defense challenge everything now that the authorities say Tad Cummins told them? Because it's, it's really like they're like he laid out the story for Without question. <clears throat> but what I think will, will happen in this case is they will go to the dynamic of the family. And I think that's what's going, a spotlight will be shed. Elizabeth Thomas's family? A hundred percent. What they will say is, listen, this is a teacher who cared very much. Now, whether viewers at home are laughing at me or not, this is what's going to come out in court. He was attempting to save this child who was in danger from the family. The danger to the family, we can see, was as a result of this domestic violence charge against the mom, the dysfunctional nature of what was occurring in that home, the fact that she was in danger, the fact that he cared about her, the fact that he wanted to support her, and the fact that he wanted to get her out of there. Now, was this the best way and method that he could have chosen by abducting her and bringing her out? No, ladies and gentlemen, but you have to understand why he did it. It wasn't for sexual gratification, as the prosecutors will tell you it was for the concern and the safety of that child who he loved as a father and nothing else. And that will be the defense argument, I'm sure, mm -hmm. moving forward in the case. And the prosecution will then say, well, isn't it interesting then that he looked into bringing her to Mexico? In addition to but, a lot of other things. <laughs> in yes, addition they to will. a lot of other yes. things. Joey, always good to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, my friend.